I wasn't going to do another video about iPhone bugs, but the 1970 glitch that's been going around is interesting, because it's probably a type of exploit that I haven't covered before. In short, it is almost certainly an integer underflow caused by the Unix epoch, and if you understand those terms, you don't need this video. Everyone else, buckle up, because here we go. January the 1st, 1970 is a special day for computers. Back in the 70s, when the Unix system and all its friends were being uh, originally designed, the programmers needed a simple way to represent dates and times without having to deal with all those awkward human things like days and hours and minutes. They just needed a ticking clock that it was easy to do arithmetic on. And the simplest way to do that is just a number, an integer, representing how many seconds had elapsed since January the 1st, 1970. And we're still using that. All over the place, in pretty much every computer, everywhere, it's generally the best way to store dates and times, because it ignores time zones and, and irritating human things like that. Now, I've done videos about this before, so I won't dwell on it, but all you need to know for this is that midnight, at the start of January the 1st, 1970, the date in question is zero. That's the first clue to what's going on. Clue number two, it only happens on modern 64-bit iPhones. Now, 64-bit refers to how numbers are stored on the processor. You've got 64 binary digits to play with, instead of the old 32, which means you can, well, you, you can deal with bigger numbers down at the really basic processor level, without having to resort to, to fancy programming tricks. Changing the phone and its operating system from that old 32-bit system to 64 requires some work, though, so there'll be subtle differences in the code between the two, and somewhere this bug slipped in. Now, showing you 64 bits on screen is uh, a bit tricky, so let's, uh, let's just use 4 bits to demonstrate how this works. 0000 is 0, then you count up in uh, base 2 in binary, 1, 2, 3, 4, until you get to 15. Biggest number you can store in 4 bits, you cannot count higher than that. But what happens if you try? Well, then you get what's called an integer overflow. After 15 comes zero. It wraps around, and you start again like an old analog odometer in a car. Now, if you've only got four bits, sure, that's going to be a problem. Uh, if you've got 64, well, you're only going to get into trouble when you've counted up past 15 quintillion. And yes, that's a real number, so it'll probably be fine. Except, if the largest number you can store plus one comes back as zero, what do you get if you do 0 minus 1? Well, that's called an integer underflow. You can't store negative numbers in this format. If you drop the number below 0, you won't end up with minus 1. You'll end up with it wrapping around to its maximum value. That's why in the, uh, in the original version of the video game Civilization, Gandhi was a dick. He started out with an aggression score of 1, and later in the game it would drop further, and no one wrote code to check it didn't drop below zero, so instead it wrapped around, became the maximum possible, and suddenly Gandhi started declaring war on everyone. Thankfully, only in a video game. Now, there is a version of this format where negative numbers are allowed, but if Apple were using that, well, they probably wouldn't have this problem. After all, why would you ever have a, a negative time value? It's, it's not like anyone's ever going to do something like set their iPhone clock back to earlier than... 1970. And you'll note that you actually can't. If you scroll all the way back, the calendar stops at January the 1st, 1970, at zero, because someone at Apple went, no, hang on, that's a bad idea. That could cause a problem. So, so they set the Unix epoch, as it's called, the zero time as the limit. But if you do set your phone's time to near zero, then somewhere else in the code there's a check. Maybe it uh, tries to do a battery time calculation, maybe it just runs the math on when the last phone call was, or, or, well, it's something that no one's worked out yet. But whatever that check does, it ends up with a time before January the 1st, 1970, which should just be a negative integer. Except it's not. It's wrapped all the way round. It's giving you a date 20 times longer than the expected lifespan of the universe. And I suspect it may not deal with displaying that date all that well. But whatever it is, it causes what is uh, formally known as undocumented behaviour and informally known as a crash. Now, I should say that, like always, when I try and break down a bug in an Apple product, this is speculation. It's unlikely that they'll ever confirm exactly what happened, and it was probably a bit more subtle than this. And there is, like I say, another type of binary integer, it's called a signed integer, that does handle negative numbers, but that is a story for another time. Even if this isn't exactly what caused it, well, hopefully it'll stop you making the same mistake in your code in future.